previously on Master Chef Canada. Wow. Congratulations. You've made it to the kitchen of your dreams. The top 16 home cooks faced their first mystery box challenge. And it didn't take long for sparks to fly. <laughs> she talks a lot. You should be glad I'm up here. And in a shocking twist, not just one, but two home cooks were eliminated. Tonight, the home cooks face their first team challenge. You'll be making lunch with the Toronto Maple Leafs. Come on, guys. We do not want to go home. Bring it together, guys. Let's go. As they battle to impress some of the biggest stars in hockey, Whoa. some cooks battle each other instead. Don't get moody with me because you messed up. Okay? I wasn't told what to do. Now. And the losing team faces a grueling pressure test. I'd be very worried if I were you that will send one MasterChef Canada hopeful home for good. It's the crack of dawn, and our remaining 14 home cooks have arrived at the Air Canada Centre, the country's largest sports and entertainment stadium, where they're about to face off in their very first team challenge. I have no idea what to expect, but I'm really excited to be there anyways. If the first thought's like, what are we going to be doing? Are we going to be playing some hockey? Because I didn't bring my skates. Are you kidding me? I'm just thinking, oh my god, what are we here to do? How many people are we going to feed? Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Air Canada Centre, home of the Toronto Maple Leafs. That's when it really all became real. We're on centre ice, in the Air Canada Centre, with the lights. And it's a very proud moment for all of us, I think. Just really put in our minds how far we've made it. On the ice today, please welcome your very own Master Chef Canada judges, Chef Michael Bonaccini, <laughs> Chef Claudio Aprile, <laughs> and finally, it's Demon Chef Alvin Lung. nice about seeing him on skates is it really puts you into the reality that he's a real person, you know? And skating is not one of his strong suits. That was awesome. Welcome, everyone, to the Air Canada Centre. We brought you to the ACC for the very first team challenge. As the top 14, today you have the honour of making lunch for the Toronto Maple Leafs. This is a dream come true. I never, ever in a million years thought I'd be cooking for an NHL hockey team. The Leafs are currently training at their practice arena, but come lunchtime, they're going to need a healthy, power-packed meal that will fuel them for tonight's big game. In honor of the Leafs, you'll be divided into the blue team, and the white team. Each team will make both a fish meal and a pasta meal. I am the biggest hockey fan ever, especially the boys in blue, the Toronto Maple Leafs. I bleed blue big time. But Danny's excitement is dampened by the flu. Danny's looking like garbage. I thought he was literally going to chuck it right onto the Maple Leaf sign. Danny, we hear you're not feeling well today. No, not at all. I must have caught a bug. So in light of that, we've decided to bench you today. You'll be sitting out this team challenge. Good luck, guys. Thanks, feel better. I was so pumped and excited to be here. And when he said, we're benching you, my heart just dropped. Because Danny is too sick to cook today, he will have to cook in the pressure test tomorrow, along with the team that loses this challenge. Time to get down to business and choose the teams. Pino. You had the best dish in the elimination challenge. You're leading the home team. Blue. Yeah. Come and get your apron. As a team captain, failure is not an option. Dale, as the runner-up, you're captain of the white team. I do not want to be on Dale's team. Dale is drama, and I want nothing to do with it. Pino, you get first pick. Being the team captain, there was definitely a lot of pressure. I have to pick the strongest team. Well, the first person I'm going to pick has already shown that they're a very strong competitor. I pick Marita. 
Marita's proven to be the strongest cook here. She won the first mystery box challenge. Dale, it's your pick. I need somebody in the kitchen who will work as strong as I do, and that's why I choose Eric. I thought I was like floating under the radar, but then when I was first picked for Dale's team, I was really shocked and I knew I had to step up to the plate. Because we are gonna be doing a pasta, I'm gonna choose my paisan, Julie. And I need somebody to keep me in line. And the only person here that's brave enough to do that is Brooke. The thing about Dale is love him to death. But I know that if it suited him, he would throw me under the bus, drive front, go back, honk twice, and keep going. I choose Carly. I choose Mike. The next person I choose is Tamira. Woo! This person has a lot of technique and loves to show it off. Josh. Thank you, buddy. Happy to be on the team. I feel like Dale's gonna be a solid leader. I mean, he's extremely vocal. He knows exactly what he wants. The next person I choose, I'd be very frightened to let her down in this challenge. <laughs> Dora. Woo! Oh, Pino, I won't let you down, sunshine. Dale, this is your final pick. I absolutely want to be on Pino's team, whereas Dale, he has a very high-pitched voice when he screams, so that could be really annoying. The next person I'm choosing loves different flavors that I don't have a lot of knowledge in. And so that's why I'm choosing... Kayla. So Pino, that means Danielle is on your team. I picked dead last, and I couldn't be happier because if they were assessing their competition, they would have realized that I know pasta and fish. You have 90 minutes to prepare and one hour to serve. Two stunning dishes for some of the greatest athletes in Canada. Your time starts now! Oh, 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 oh serious. The home cooks race to the Air Canada Center's executive kitchens to plan their menus. We step in the professional kitchen at the ACC for the first time. I think for most of us, this is a pretty new environment to be cooking in. Now, each team has to come up with two dishes that meet the Leafs' dietary requirements. A fish dish with two sides and a pasta dish. OK, pick a fish. What's the best way to fish? Halibut. OK, so we'll pick halibut. And on the sides, I'm thinking like a sweet potato and like green beans. I'm thinking in my head. We need a pasta that has a lot of protein in it. We're going to do pasta fajol yes, with uh, yeah. the pancetta. Yeah. And then we're going to cook the pasta inside the sauce. We have those big, big bowls. Yeah. And that's going to stay good inside of there. And it's hearty and healthy. So that's going to give the players nutrition and energy. Where's those beans? Let's get this shit organized, kids. The blue team gets their halibut, pasta, and side vegetables started. But the white team still can't agree on their menu. OK, so then we're doing trouts. OK, because pickerel is way too bony. I already made that mistake before. I knew how bony pickerel was. I decided it would be a good idea to go with the trout. I want to keep it healthy, I want to keep it light, and I want to keep it moist for them. Elite athletes need very healthy food. Our menu is going to be fresh, simple, and beautifully plated. Pasta, pasta. OK, how are we doing the penne? We are going to do a pesto with it. Yeah. I think that's a little too oily. We're going to call it a green puree, OK? Because we've got undive, we've got radish. Okay. I don't like undive myself. I think it's terrible, and it's not going to hold up at all. How about kale and spinach and call it a spinach? I don't like kale. Can we do like a grilled eggplant on top of the pasta? Or just no, I hate no. eggplants. No. Really? Sweet mother of god. Dale isn't listening to anyone but Dale. He is being super selfish and shutting down everyone's ideas. Despite a rocky start, Captain Dale finally decides on a menu of grilled trout, penne in an herb puree, carrots, asparagus, and an heirloom tomato salad. Where are the tasting spoons? Uh, right over here, Pino. All right, blue team, we have 45 minutes oh, left. We're laughing. Good job, team. Yeah. We're going to put the fish in at half an hour because it takes 12 minutes. Yep, perfect. Are you concerned you're overcrowding the pen? I definitely worried, but we have four slots and they want all 50 cut. While the blue team is on schedule with their cook, the white team is struggling with Dale's choice of fish. So many bones. Fucking hell. How's the fish going, guys? Brutal. Brutal? Eric and I essentially got the short end of the stick. There's like 57 portions of fish. That's a lot of deboning. How many you got? I just did two so far only. I just started. Ooh, this one has a lot. Like, I was first pick, and he put me on a stupid task of taking bones out of a fish. It was definitely a waste of skill. Hurry up with that. It's taking too long, OK? 
Dale, who chose the fish? Who chose I chose the trout. We had a choice between trout or pickerel. The pickerel bones are very hard to get out. We don't did have you, enough time. Did you check the pickerel? Was there any bone? Did you check no, it? No, chef, I It might have been filet. Get me a piece of pickerel. Get me a piece of pickerel here. We're really struggling at this point. The fish is a lot bonier than we could have ever imagined. I yes. made a mistake. This you is fully deboned. Look, it's fully deboned. It's a yes, fillet. Chef. So next time, check. Yes, Always chef. check. OK, go. Yes, chef. With only 30 minutes to go before the home cooks serve lunch to the Leafs, it's too late to replace Dale's choice of fish. So the white team is stuck with deboning the trout. Fuck it. Fuck. He should have checked the products. He should have used the pickerel because he was fillet. It was skin. He could have used it. He's lost complete control of his kitchen right now. Oh, my God. As the white team tries to get a handle on their fish. Help them work on those potatoes. They got to go in the oven. Pino is running the blue team's kitchen like a well-oiled machine. My fish is going in. We are on top of the world. Everything is coming together. We just got a few things to take care of, follow through, check on. This is easy street now. Yeah, don't worry. I'm watching. I'm watching it, chef. While things heat up in the white team's kitchen, the Leafs finish their morning training and head for the showers. This is your 15-minute warning. 15 minutes to go before you have to serve lunch. Fucking hell, man. Hey, get those fish in the oven. Get them in the oven, all of them, all of them. Wow, we need fucking, oh, God. Be careful. Be Our kitchen is chaos. They all sound a very good leader. When you're catering an event like that, you got to work with your team. But Dale kind of just seemed you know, to like run around and like yell at people. Please do not throw me under the bus. Come on, guys. We do not want to go home today. No, let's do this. I feel like everybody's going to let me take the fall for this if it goes down. Don't worry, baby. We got you. Nobody's going home. Not today. With the Maple Leafs now on their way, the blue team's perfect facade is starting to crack. It's going to be tight with those potatoes. Keep the doors closed, and if need be, put some foil over the top, OK? OK. The potatoes are going to be tight on time. I just checked them. OK, these are coming out. Perfect. They've already got the fish cooked, which I think is a little too soon. The potatoes should be where the fish is and vice versa. Hey, guys, let's go. Let's get some foil paper here and start foiling it. I don't, I don't think Pino even has the pasta on yet. Pino, are you not blanching this? No. You're just going to put them right I'm in the sauce? I'm going to cook them in the sauce. Does it get starchy and heavy? Chef Clyde doesn't think it's a great idea to cook the pasta in the sauce. I am really concerned that I'm taking a little bit of a risk here. But Pino isn't the only home cook who's stressing about his pasta. Over in the white kitchen, Kayla's herb puree is getting the thumbs down. That is salty too, as fuck, yeah, in my opinion. It's, it's okay? too muddy, and we need to brighten it up. I'll prep some lemons. Kayla's definitely impressing me uh, by how easily she can screw things up. Kayla. Yes, Chef? I start chopping these tomatoes, OK? I'm I get blamed for it. Now I'm on to chopping tomatoes. I hate tomatoes. What'd you do? Go, go, go. Next thing you know, Kayla split her finger down the middle, and she disappears. This is really going to hurt us in the kitchen. It's not very hard to slice a tomato. This should be the simplest task in the kitchen. I can't let my team down. I need to get back in there. Put the bandaid on. With only five minutes left before the Leafs arrive, the white team is racing to finish with one cook down, while the blue team is already setting up for service in the ringside dining room. We got the pasta pajol. We got our sweet potato, green beans. We got our halibut. We're looking good. Green beans got to go over there. Put the pasta here and the salad at the end, OK? You're the boss, Pino. Meanwhile, the white team is still in the kitchen, struggling to load their food into their carriers. You don't know how these things work. You keep it hot in one and cold in another. There's no clear organization, and Dale's just screaming like a girl in the background, and nobody really knows what we're doing, so we're screwed. Who's plating what, guys? I've already been over this. You should have been paying attention whenever I was actually whenever getting I it over. I was getting it done. OK, that's not my fault. No. When we get onto the floor, there's still a few hiccups happening. But I don't have time to keep going over it, OK? Because Kayla had cut herself in the kitchen, she doesn't know what to do. And Dale is being really mean to her. No, the other way around. Quit changing stuff. Please. This way? We want this together, OK? So they have a choice of which one to pick. Okay. Please go back to the station I assigned you to. I have this. I don't have a fucking station, and I'm going to snap. OK, don't get moody with me. Because you messed up, OK? That's not I my fault. I did not mess up. I wasn't told what to do. You couldn't handle it. That's why I switched okay. you, OK? Guys, chill, there's chill, not, chill, chill. It's not time for this. It's yeah. not time for this. We're all good, guys. We got nothing. What do you want me to do? Like, really, guys, let's grow up. Like, we're adults. Let's just serve some food. OK, I'm just going to stand here. With only minutes to go before the Leafs arrive, 
the blue team's setup is also falling apart. The fish is breaking. Hey, like, look at that plate. This looks like shit. Bring it together, guys, let's go. You show us what you want. Okay, it's breaking. Here, Perfect. put it on the Sweet. side, right here, for your potatoes and your greens. Yep. Done, okay? And drizzle some oil. Okay. It's breaking, let's do that. We'll follow your rule. We know what we're doing, right? The Toronto Maple Leafs are on their way over. It's either we get our stuff together or we're sinking the ship. Pitted against the blue team's pasta fajol is the white team's penne pasta in an herb puree. Make sure everything's pretty, guys, OK? And for the fish entree, the white team's serving up a baked trout with carrots and asparagus, while the blue team is plating a halibut poached in oil with sweet potatoes and green beans. The Leafs are on their way. Get it done. Come on. OK, here they come, guys. Here they come. Come on, girls. We are catering lunch for the Toronto Maple Leafs, their families, and the alumni. 51 people in total. Insanity. Hi. Hi. Okay. Thanks. They're huge. It was like, oh, man, these are mountain of men. Afternoon, guys. Are you guys hungry? Yeah. Next thing you know, I got Wendell Clark in my face. For a hockey boy like me, this is a dream come true. I am a hockey fan, hockey player fan. <laughs> there you go. Enjoy. Amazing. Thank you. The players were all very good looking. Just focus on the potatoes, serve the potatoes. <laughs> like every single one of them was gorgeous. Fantastic, Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you so much. Once a Leaf player chooses a fish or pasta dish from the blue team, they must take the same dish from the white team and then vote for their favorite after lunch. Okay, we need a new tray of fish. Okay, this is hot on my fingers, girls. Thank God I'm a plumber. Let's move it. Oh, man. If either team runs out of food or slows down, they could lose a vote that could cost them the challenge. Just grab one second, that salad, for you. Salad, salad, one second. I understand that. Salad, sorry, salad, guys, salad, I'm salad. so sorry to make you wait. I have no clue what Kayla's fucking doing at this point. Yeah. I could tell you a joke, but I'm not very funny, so. Uh... <laughs> With a blue and white dish in front of everyone, the challenge now boils down to a question of taste. Let's put it this way. We never got this for a free game meal. <laughs> now, how's the food? It's good. Very good. Which one do you like better? I say blue's got it. Anything that's got bacon in, I'm good to go. The blue team cooked a good, uh, what was it? Halibut. Halibut. So I'll go with the blue team. I like the blue team food. I like, really like this uh, pasta. I think it was good. It might have been a little overcooked, but uh, it was good. The blue team definitely uh, definitely was my favorite. Very well cooked. I was saying white. The white. Normally I would have sweet potatoes before a game. I, I did like the blue team in that sense, but I thought the fish on the white was better. It was a little bit, a little more seasoned. Thank you, guys. Right. Pleasure. Well, actually, both passes are great. They're both awesome. The right place is empty, eh? That's the way we like to see the plates coming back. The trout was unbelievable. Much appreciated. Tell me, give me some commentary. Early on, I was leaning towards the blue team. But in the end, trout won me over. So I'm going white. You're going white. I'm going team white. With lunch now over, it's time for the Leafs to cast their vote. Here we go. Each diner must drop the puck for either the white team or the blue team. And their decision will make sure one team faces a pressure test that will eliminate at least one home cook. You just never know what a big group of people might think. I'm, I'm concerned. I can't lose this challenge. The Maple Leafs have finished voting for their favorite dish, either the blue team's poached halibut and pasta fajol, or the white team's baked trout and herb penne. Now, the home cooks are back down on home ice while they await the final results. The Leafs have to go back to training, but they've made their picks, and these young hockey fans are gonna show you how they voted. If it's a vote for the white team, the puck goes in the white net. If it's a vote for the blue team, the puck goes in the blue net. 51 people voted. The first team to get 26 votes is the winner. Players, are you ready? Yeah! Start shooting. We're standing there in front of these little hockey guys, and it is torture because you don't know what net the puck's going to go into. Oh, right in the blue. Which is it up last minute. Yeah, he does. Yeah! That's one for the white. Oh, my God. That's 
It's another one for the white team. That's one for the blue. And that's one. That's another one for the white team. We're nothing but smiles right now. I mean, things are feeling pretty good. I can't wait to see that other team deal with the pressure test tomorrow. Give us white. Uh, oh, white, he's going white. The blue sneaked another one in. They were getting some, and then we were getting a little. Oh, the shot of the white bin again. The white team is running away. We're down 10-5. This is not how I expected things to happen. Blue is pulling their goalie. That's how desperate they are. Oh. One for the blue. All of a sudden, things take a turn. Kids start burying pucks in the blue net. I don't know what's going on. Yeah. The score's tied. Come on. For the blue. Yeah! God, I can't take this. Yeah! yeah! Another puck, another puck, another puck. Pucks on pucks on pucks. God, those kids, man. They shouldn't play with people's emotions like that. Yeah! It's becoming a landslide. <laughs> we were just getting crushed. Another one for the blue. One more vote. The blue team will win it. Blue, blue, blue. <laughs> we earned it. We earned it. Congratulations, Blue Team. You are the winners. Well done. I am absolutely ecstatic. Just made a meal for the Toronto Maple Leafs, and I brought my team to victory? It's the greatest feeling ever. I'm sorry, White Team. You failed to score today. You will now have to face a pressure test at the MasterChef Canada Kitchen, where at least one of you will be going home. None of us besides Dale deserve to go into this pressure test. He did a bad job captaining the team. I am not stupid, and I'm not going to get thrown under the bus by anybody in this competition. Yesterday, you competed in your very first team challenge. You made lunch for the Toronto Maple Leafs, their families, and Leafs alumni. The blue team, led by Pino, scored big. They're safe up in the gallery. Thank you very much. White team, you lost the team challenge. As a result, you'll face the very first MasterChef Canada pressure test. And at least one of you will go home. At least. And Danny, because you were ill yesterday, you must also face the pressure test. Mike, was Dale a good leader? Uh, at, at the start, we were just so underutilized. We were deboning 57 portions of fish. At the end of the day, when you actually look at everything we did, he didn't really have a hand in anything. Like Eric and I, I did. I didn't do the asparagus. I didn't do the tomato salad whenever my team member stepped out by cutting herself. Yeah, sorry, you did the asparagus and tomato and salad. And I got all of their opinions before we started. I made sure that everybody was happy with the choices that were being made, and I got their feedback the whole entire way. Also, and Kayla already knows this, I was very disappointed with her performance. Well. Dale, you ever heard the term, the fish rots from the head? Yes, sir. There are seven home cooks in front of us, but only five will compete in this pressure test. Two of you will get the chance to go up to the gallery, safe from elimination. And the person who will decide who is safe is... If Dale's any kind of a leader, he's going to keep himself in this pressure test and prove to us that he could cook himself out of it. Dale, which person do you think most deserves immunity? I'm not here to make friends, and therefore, I'm going to save myself, first of all. The only word that comes to my mind is what a coward. And then the other person that I'm going to save is the weakest link on the team and the person that I feel I can kick out later on. And so that's why I'm choosing Danny. Wow. <laughs> that's bold. Wow. 
Fantastic. Love it. Uh, I didn't expect that at all. That just came out of left field. Danny, how'd you feel about that? I'll take the free ride. If he thinks I'm a weak link, uh, we'll find out later on. I saved Danny because I love some controversy. Eric, what do you think of Dale's choice? <laughs> what do I think of Dale's choice? He wasn't even part of our team. Like, how is that at all fair? Like, yeah, it's a competition, but that's just absolutely ridiculous. He's not even cooking. Like, he definitely should have picked Kayla. You think somebody's weaker than Kayla? <laughs> this is unacceptable. I can't wait to win this. Danny, Dale, head upstairs. You are safe from elimination. I probably would have chosen myself, too, if I was the captain. But when he chooses Danny, I'm pissed. Thanks, buddy. Cooking in a pressure test is not something I'm looking forward to. For your first pressure test, you'll be making something that appears very simple, but it's actually quite complex. Pasta. I'm stoked as a pass challenge. I make pasta all the time. I got this, I'm not going home. And nothing says pressure quite like fresh, handmade pasta. When it's stuffed pasta, there's even more that can go wrong. And when it is this stuffed pasta dish, raviolo alla uovo, it is especially challenging. Come up here, guys. I live in a gluten-free household, and I never hand make pasta at home. Man, I could be in trouble on this. It's a single, delicate, handmade raviolo enveloped in a savory sage butter sauce. The garnish. I would like to see a little parmesan on there. And the crisp sage leaf. And here's the hard part. Inside is a single egg yolk. And when I cut into it, that liquid gold needs to come running out. Holy fuck. The filling is ricotta cheese with spinach. When it all comes together in the right way, it is perfetto. Good luck. This pasta challenge looks absolutely insane. Glad it isn't me. You have at your stations all that you need to create this stunning handmade pasta dish and 45 minutes to do it. Your 45 minutes starts now. Making a raviolo such as this, it is a very, very difficult task. It's like walking through a minefield. I would agree. All the ingredients have to work in concert. There's a sequence. They have to make the dough first, knead it, get it relaxed. Oh, let it rest. Before they can roll it. Exactly. Because if they don't relax it, it's not going to work. So right now, imagine this Dale's face right here. And it's helped me uh, cool things down a little bit. Josh, Helvin, do you think that really helps? Don't let your emotion affect you. Absolutely, Chef. Thank you, Chef. Look, I know you hate me. It's the okay. Room, the only people mad at me are the five people down on the floor cooking right now. Everybody should be up on the balcony. It's stress-free. The ricotta cheese has to be the right consistency. If the ricotta is too wet, it'll bleed through. There's actually no room for error. 15 minutes. You have 15 minutes left. OK, guys, you need to be rolling out that dough. Not too thick, not too thin. If the uh, pasta dough is too thick, then it's going to be tough. If it's too thin, it won't support all the ingredients that are inside. Look at Kayla. She's got her noodles coming out. I'm telling you, man, it's anyone's game right now. Where's Brooke at right now? She's just doing her filling. Brooke's going to fall out. apart. It's called a pressure test for a reason. So uh, I just got to keep calm and stay focused, and I'll be OK. Oh, she cut herself, too. I cut myself. I am freaking out. She's <laughs> Brooke's done at this point, for sure. 10 minutes. You have 10 minutes left. You need to be filling your raviolo by now, and those need to be moving. 10 minutes. You have 10 minutes left. You need to be filling your raviolo by now, and those need to be moving. Oh, no, Eric. Do it in your hand, Eric. Eric's struggling separating his eggs. Now he's down to his last oh, egg. He only has one egg, so he cannot afford to make a mistake. 
Drain, drain the whites through your fingers. I can't believe I dropped my day. It was really amateur mistake. I think I'm going home. Oh, no, it's saved. It's not broken. Oh, yes. There you go, Eric. Beautiful, Eric. Oh, he got it, he got it, he got it. Yeah, he got it, he got it. Got one. Have a nice bath. Two minutes. You have two minutes left. Your raviolo should be in the water cooking by now. You should be finishing off your sauce and getting ready to plate. If they overcook the noodle, that means the egg inside will be solid. And that defeats the entire purpose of this dish, because the wow factor lies in that egg being very liquidy. Oh, my god. I wonder how many have actually made a crispy fried sage leaf. Ten, nine, wipe the plate. Seven, wipe six, the plate. Five, come on. Four, three, two. One! Heads up! Heads up! Oh, I should have cleaned my plate. I'm really worried about this. What do you mean? It's perfect. I'm not happy. I know that I didn't cook at my best. I'm holding back the tears. I am crossing my fingers, crossing my toes, crossing my little nose hairs, I'm crossing everything, that my egg is perfectly cooked and it's running in the middle. You've just completed your very first pressure test. We will taste all five ravioli. Kayla, bring your raviolo al uovo up to the front, please. Overall, I'm pretty confident about the pressure test because Kayla's in there. I honestly believe that she'll be the worst. Kayla? Hello, Chef. Nice presentation, and I see you have some shaved parmigiano on top. Yes, Chef. Well done. How did the crispy sage turn out for you? I get a little crunch. Well done. Let's try the big test. Does that make you happy? That makes me really happy. <laughs> The egg was very nice. Thank so you. was the pasta. But not bad for a first time out. These people who say you cannot cook, these guys up there, you're wrong. You can cook. Thank you, Sean. Watch out. I can cook, and I'm going to kick all your butts. Eric, please bring your dish up. I can feel that's good pasta. I mean, just with a knife. It's everything that needs to be in this dish here. Ingredient-wise, yes, chef. Where's the Parmesan cheese? So the only thing I'm noticing here that is troubling me is the amount of onion and sage that you have as a garnish, which would overpower the dish. I'm correct in thinking that you've overpowered something so delicate. Hmm. It tastes more like an onion ravioli. Josh, you're next. You've achieved nice balance with the sauce. Let's see what happens when I cut this. The pasta is perfectly rolled out. I mean, it's so thin. It's like paper. It's beautiful. Thank you, Chef. It's just stunning. You should be very proud of that dish. Thank, Thank you, you so much, Chef. No Parmesan on it. No Parmesan? No. It is a little under-seasoned, and I would prefer to have a little more ricotta in there. But you nailed the texture of the dough. Thank you. Brooke, would you please come up with your dish? Brooke, how do you feel about your dish? Um, <clears throat> I definitely felt the pressure in that pressure test. So as you can see, I didn't have a chance to get that piece of sage fried. Maybe a little Parmesan cheese missing? How do you think the egg's gonna be? I'm praying. <sighs> that works.
feel the dough is a little on the thick side, and therefore a tad underdone. Better not there than there. Less is more. Agreed, chef. I hope that I can get my nerves under control and show you what I can really do in the kitchen. You only have one chance, unfortunately. It's dead. I'm hoping by some miracle that the judges see something in me and they want me to stay in the competition. <sighs> Mike, you're the only one remaining. Bring your dish up. I didn't even get a chance to wipe my plate. This dish does not look Master Chef quality. It looks like amateur hour at the pasta house. Crispy sage. And you did put the Parmesan cheese on top. Eggs oozing out. That pasta is really, really thick and hard. I think I need a steak knife. Yeah, I think so, too. It's not a good thing. I'd be very worried if I were you. I am. If I go home today, I'd totally be upset. I didn't come here to get 14th place. This was a very challenging pressure test. Some of the results were surprising. Everybody, please come up to the front. Josh and Kayla, please step forward. Josh, there was a big problem with your sauce. It was so good, we wanted more of it. Kayla, the other home cooks have expressed doubts about your abilities. And it looks like you may have had the last laugh. Your dish emerged as the best. Mine? Well done. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you guys so much. Join the other home cooks in the gallery. Thank you guys. I had something to prove today and I went into this challenge knowing that I was gonna kick some butt and I think I did a really good job. Eric, please step forward. Was your raviolo perfect? No, oh, Chef. No. But it was good. You're safe. Thank you, Chef. Take off your airplane and go upstairs. I feel much better. Relieved some stress, but I got way too confident, and that's not gonna happen again. I'm hoping and praying and hoping and praying that by some miracle, I'm staying. I'm disappointed in myself. I'm disappointed in my performance but I think I deserve to stay a bit more than Brooke. Mike and Brooke, your dishes were deeply disappointing. So now, Mike, time has come. Take off your apron. And head up to the gallery, you're safe. I'm sorry. That was an honor. Thank you. Thank you, Chef. You've got drive and talent. Don't stop cooking. And you should be very proud of yourself. The spark for cooking was lit in me a long time ago. You could be whatever you want to be in this world if you believe in yourself. And I've always believed in myself, and nothing's going to change. Next time on MasterChef Canada. Elk, kangaroo, wild boar. The home cooks answer a call from the wild. Ooh. Oh, God, medic. And a kitchen mishap. Oh, God, that looks serious. Tips the scales. This is survival mode, and they need to be in it. In the toughest elimination challenge yet. This borders on prison food. 